All right, people, this is a snapper, SR120, as you can see. It is 20-odd years old. You can see I was making a moto vlog with it, with my helmet on. Why not, right? And I think that the belt has come off. And I, I've never worked on this lawnmower. I've never had to do anything to it. So I think I'm going to pop this black cover off. And I think I can get the get it back on then. So let's see. I'll show you how I do it as I go. Okay, guys. This takes an 11 millimeter socket. Okay. Let's put... Oh, wait a minute. We got more than one. I mean, I know we have more than one. But we might have more than one size also. Oh, damn. I hope not. Let's see if it fits this one here too. Yes, it fits, guys. All right. All right. That's spectacular. Okay. Okay, over here you have one more bolt right here. It's the same 11 millimeter. Okay, so we got all of the belts, I mean all of the bolts out. And we have we have engaged where the PTO would be if, if it was working. And drop the blade all the way down. Now you got to push the PTO forward and lock it. Otherwise you won't be able to raise this. Now, you're not going to be able to raise it a lot, okay? But what do you see under here? You see that the belt is off, correct? Now, hang on. Now, I'm not going to be able to show this while doing it, but right here, you will see that there's a cutout right here. That's so you can actually remove the cover and, and, and have access. Let me turn it off for a second. Okay, I have I've pulled the cover off. It's very easy to get it off. You just need two hands, and you can see now that it, on, in the back back here where you cannot see, it's around the pulley, and you have have this is a tensioner right here. It's a tensioner, all right. That controls this arm right here and puts pressure on the blade. Now, right here is your keeper. Okay, right here, if you can see that. Now, on new lawnmowers, well, actually, on this lawnmower, it's very soft. On a lot of new lawnmowers, it's very hard. Okay? So, now, we're going to pull this up, okay? See how simple this is? It's not a big deal. If you're a lady and your man's not home, you can do it. You can do it. Hang on, let me set this here tripod down. Okay. No! Come on, now. Okay. Get the tensioner out of the way. We don't want to put any tension on it while we're doing it. And then, so you get it get it going on right here. And then push it around while holding on to it. Okay. Pull this up. Look at there. We just slipped on. See? We are now... Okay, guys. The one thing I forgot to tell you, and I'm very sorry. I didn't realize it until I drove it up here to the garage. Is that... See this pulley wheel? Okay, this is the tensioner, okay? So... When it comes off, it comes off, and it was on this side, if you look earlier in the video. You have to get it back on this side of this, this metal ring, this tensioner, okay? And the, the way I find it easiest to do that, and it's the same on in, in, even modern lawnmowers, right? Is is to... Um, oh, wait a minute. Put it right here, and then just hold it tight right here, and roll it in. And it will roll right in. Then when you come up here, you just slip this back over. Okay, now when you now watch the tensioner. When you pull the clutch down, right? There, it locks in. Now you have tension on everything. And you're ready to mow again. I'm sorry I forgot to include that in the in the beginning of the video. But actually, I've had this, 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 this rider for a while. And I've never had any trouble with it. But my lawn has been running wild because of the rain. Alright, you have a great day.